Hi everyone, welcome to my video on a question about some sweets and a certain girl called Hannah. You might have heard this question because it's been all over the news, the radio and the internet in the last couple of days. So I wanted to show you how to do it. So, there are n sweets in a bag, okay, where n represents some unknown number. Six of the sweets are orange. The rest of the sweets are yellow. Hannah takes a sweet at random from the bag. She eats the sweet. Well, wouldn't you? Hannah then takes at random another sweet from the bag. And she eats that one too. The probability that Hannah eats two orange sweets is one third. Now, the reason people found this difficult is it's two different topics in one because the final result is show that n squared minus n minus 90 is zero so we've got some algebra and we've got some probability all mixed up into one but what i want you to do is just not panic okay you know how to do probability hopefully and you know how to do algebra so let's imagine our bag of sweets six of the sweets are orange okay so I might have to use red instead of orange. So six. The rest are yellow. Okay. Now the problem is we don't know how many yellow sweets there are. So I'm just going to do random dots. But we're told that in total there are n sweets in the bag. So any probability that we're looking at is going to be out of n. If you were told there were seven sweets in the bag. Then you'd say, OK, there's seven in total and six are orange. Well, there's n sweets in the bag. So for the probability of one orange, it's six out of n. Now, that will look weird because you're used to seeing numbers here, but don't panic. So that's the probability of getting her first orange. There's six orange out of n in total. Now, what you have to remember is, she takes one of the orange sweets out of the bag. So we're going to take one of these away. Okay. Can't get a whole sweet these days. So we take that and we eat it. So that one's gone. Now, the probability of two things happening one after another that are independent, we times, okay? So that's the probability of your first orange, 6 out of n. The probability of our next orange, well, we've only got one, two, three, four, five oranges left. Now, the tricky part is how many sweets are left in the bag. It's not N anymore because we've taken one out. So we don't know as a number, but we know we started with N and we took one out. So it's N take one, N minus one. So that's what the probability is out of. So what we've just written there is the probability of two orange sweets. Now we're told that the probability of eating two orange sweets is one third. So that equation equals one third. So now you've got some pretty tricky maths to transfer this into something that you know. Um, hopefully we're going to get to this answer. So we're multiplying fractions. Okay, so we're going to do the top number times the top number, the bottom number times the bottom number. So 6 times 5 is 30. n times n minus 1, well, we're going to have to write like that so that we times everything here, the n and the minus 1 by n. That equals 1 over 3. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply up by 3, and we're going to multiply up by n times n minus 1. That's called cross-multiply. So we're going to get 3 times 30 is 90, and 1 times n, n minus 1. Okay. Now we're going to expand our bracket, so we get n squared minus n. So we have 90 equals n squared minus n. And with a simple bit of rearrangement, we can just take away 90 and then swap the sides to get exactly what we want. OK, so it implies that n squared minus n minus 90 is 0. 
I reckon this video will be a little bit like Marmite. Some of you will like to see how this question is done. Some of you probably just want, don't want to know at all. But if you're in the second category, then maybe you've not watched the video. So hopefully it's all good. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. And good luck in achieving math.